Welcome to the first class of this quantum mechanics course. I will start with black body radiation. As we know that if you heat something, especially some metal, after the certain amount of temperature, things start glowing out. Initially, uh, if you heat a uh, say iron it will be red and after some time after more some more temperature it will slowly become whitish so that glow is actually a radiation a lots of amounts of frequencies are coming out from that metal so initially i would expect uh, that you know what uh, light is if you don't know also, uh, doesn't matter. I will show you a image. This is a this is a diagram where the frequencies of all the waves are there: radio waves, microwaves, infrared wave, ultraviolet wave, X-rays, gamma rays. The frequency becoming higher and higher and uh, the energy of the photons are becoming higher and higher and wavelengths are becoming lower and lower gamma ray happened to the power minus 13 to the power minus 15 meter of wavelength this is a nuclear scale x-rays wavelength are in atomic scale are in armstrongs ultraviolet ray is lower than x-ray visible rays you know in the micrometer 10 to the power minus 6 and 10 to the power minus 7 nanometer uh, sorry meter range infrared microwave and radio wave so you let the becoming higher and higher so that is uh, a spectrum of light light uh, as from electromagnetic theory we know light is an electromagnetic wave whose velocity is c this is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and c is 1 by u naught epsilon naught of course and from basic wave theory you know light have a frequency and a wavelength and the frequency and the wavelength are related by nu lambda equals to c and we define another two quantities which is k and omega so omega is 2 pi nu and k is 2 pi by lambda that much is light as classical em wave light as classical em wave okay then what is a black body ideal black body is uh, emits and radiates perfect emitter and perfect radiator all the radiation What does it mean? This means something like this. In practical purpose, if you imagine a structure with a very slight hole, and inside this, it's a perfect reflector. Inner side work inner walls are perfect reflection so the things becomes if a radiation enters it will go on and on and after some time uh, it will absorb so entering em wave absorbs 
inside the black body. All wavelengths. All wavelengths does not mean only light. All wavelengths is all wavelengths. And when you hit it, there is a small hole there. I will, uh, I will uh, paste a better snapshot. Oh. So, entering you may absorb uh, inside the black body, and when the black body heated, all types of wavelengths. coming out of that hole. We can give you a snapshot of a black body. Okay, that may not be needed. like this it's the same like okay and uh, what is then uh, what is the deal here the deal here is the emitting wavelength emitting wavelength depend on the temperature of course All type of wavelengths coming out of that hole. So the wavelengths, some we can see by our eyes, some are visible range, some are infrared range, some are radio wave range. Okay, so the wavelengths have a distribution. the peak depends on temperature at which you have length or at which frequency the peak of your uh, uh, of your emitting uh, wavelength depends that depends on your wavelength okay uh, so what i am trying to say is as you as you increase your temperature the peak of that wavelength experimentally shown to be decreased so now i will show you some images the image i will show you is first is depending on frequency so if you look carefully it's frequent it's a frequency versus uh, spectral energy density that mean uh, which wavelengths are coming uh, with more energy like this so the basic structure of that is if you plot a new and uh, what to say some books call it rho as a function of energy energy density okay so it becomes like this so this is at some new the peak at, uh, at some new okay and if you decrease the temperature or if you increase the temperature if you increase the temperature, the peak will go right side. If you decrease the temperature, peak will shift left side. T1, T2, your T1 is greater than T2. That, uh, that is the main characteristic. And uh, 
and of course uh, they contain all the wavelengths some visible light lower frequency lights that mean radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves, higher uh, higher than the free visible light also are there. So at uh, experimentally at uh, 1200K, you get uh, how much? Less visible light, more infrared lights. 1800K, you're getting more visible light, relatively more, but the peak is still not in visible light. This is for some particular substance, okay? Uh, this is for, for some particular substance and actually the characteristics does not depend to be a, a substance only that uh, magnitude that how much heat is coming out how much energy is coming out that uh, depends that means the main character does not depend on substance this is a universal kind of a universal phenomena for a black body and of course, uh, when you are dealing with a different different substance and they are not an ideal black body, then the curve might uh, might differ. So, the explanation of this curve is not a very easy task. In classical theory, actually failed in explaining this. Another part is a. Uh, if you plot it uh, in terms of wavelength also, the characteristics remains almost same, only only the thing is start and that uh, if I get T1, T1 is more frequency, so that will be less wavelength. So, but uh, okay, T2 will be like this. T1 greater than T2. Higher temperature means, of course, higher energy. This is in terms of wavelength, this is in terms of frequency. There should be a D new there. So if I want to explain it classically, it will be almost impossible to explain. How? Classically, the equipartition theorem tells you that we have KBT energy for two, uh, half of KBT for every mode of vibration. So classically for half uh, KBT per degrees of freedom and uh, how this, uh, then why KBT? in uh, black body cavity uh, it's a cavity closed so the em wave supposed to be a standing wave and if it's a standing wave then two degrees of freedom And that's why it's have a KBT energy. And uh, the most important point is number of waves or number of modes number of modes in uh, In the range of nu to d nu, nu plus d nu, per unit volume, the density of modes, 
it can be proved to be 8 pi mu square d nu by c q. That is, that can be proved. So, we, we may prove it at later some point of time or you, I, I may prove it itself today. Let's see. This KBT. Okay, so this 8 pi nu square d nu by CQ, it is number of modes in the range of nu to nu plus d nu per unit volume. And uh, if we, each mode is having energy KBT, so hence combining this two, should, this KBT, I should shift little bit right. So hence I get some little bit more space. So if I combine this two, then I get energy density as 8 pi mu square CQ KBT D nu in terms of uh, frequency. If I and say rho nu d nu 8 pi nu square by c q k b t 8 pi k b t nu square d nu if i want to shift in terms of lambda that also be exactly nu lambda equals to c so lambda nu is c by lambda and d nu is c by lambda square d lambda sure there should be a minus okay but uh, that doesn't matter much here all you uh, what we're doing is uh, the dealing with magnitudes only so 8 pi uh, nu square is uh, there is a c square CQ lambda square the D nu give another C <laughs> sorry lambda square T lambda so ultimately this becomes 8 pi ABT all C's are cancelled lambda to the power 4 d lambda both uh, these two formulas are used this and this but that does not uh, does not expand this this does not expand this 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 has a peak but that uh, that is linearly either linearly increasing with frequency and uh, decreasing with uh, wavelength. So this is called uh, Rayleigh Jeans law. Both these two just call uh, I my uh, spelling very bad. So this is called I should I have a way out <laughs> this uh, control c and control v so this is called uh, Rayleigh Jeans formula but this is not not sufficient to explain it if we uh, I should uh, You should again do a copy paste. So, if you compare with the experimental result, that observed phenomena, Rallagens explain a very 
low frequency level of it. As the frequency increases, the Rayleigh James spectral density, energy density, that increases. Um, but experimentally, it's observed as uh, get a peak and decreases. So that uh, is called um, ultraviolet catastrophe. experiment and that classical theory was not matching. And there was another observation I tell you that was Wine's displacement law that is for different different temperature. That different temperature that peak uh, shift with the temperature shift, the peak increases with uh, temperature in terms of frequency and the peak decreases in terms of wavelength. So another observation was uh, lambda max t the constant this is called wine's distribution law and what is the value of that constant I tell you you need to remember that if some numerical questions is asked What is that B max constant? Yeah, this is that's it. It's around two eight nine nine into ten to the power minus six. Constant is two eight in SI unit. That is why it's distribution slow. Now to explain this, Plum. I told you a hypothesis. Uh, he told you, okay, I can take this uh, H pi. Initially, his reasoning was like an heuristic argument that uh, he didn't know how to derive it. But he told you, okay, your graph fits. Your graph, uh, Planck tell you, initial stage that your rho nu d nu will fit if you use why should I write everything I can do a direct copy paste <laughs> okay so I'll tell you that your rho nu d nu is like this This is 8 pi by CQ, new square, that much is okay. Then instead of KT, he is using H nu by e to the power H nu by KT minus 1. Where K is a constant, this is Boltzmann constant. That was a proposal without proof. The first uh, proper proof was given by S. and Bose. That's Boltzmann constant. You know what the value is. And H was another constant.
Planck told you that this is Planck's constant. The value of Planck's constants, you know, this uh, 10 to the power minus 34. So, 6 6.62 states. Minus 34. Tap help. So, after we take this to be true, this fits into that experimental observation. And if we assume to be true, every other, every other things like wines, distribution law, And that black body energy density that sigma t to the power 4 both can be proved from this. That Planck's law. But how come this, uh, why this came? by this game. So that requires a proper understanding of the quantum nature of light. Here comes the most important part that behind this ar sorry behind this argument actually what we assume that life's energy that was the main proposal, are quantized. Each energy quanta have value each new. That means, if you are having a light of frequency new, then the energy of your light will be h nu, 2h nu, 3h nu, nh nu, like this. We cannot have a continuous distribution of energy. Like we cannot have half h nu energy. We cannot have 3 by 2 h nu energy. So that energies are discrete. H new and so on. That was that was the proposal. That was the proposal. And that was accepted later, slowly, in the scientific community. So what if, if I assume that this to be true, then that average energy of that standing wave that was proved to be this, if I take that Boltzmann distribution to be true, that is a part of statistical mechanics we will learn later. This classical MB distribution which tells you that uh, the probability of occupants varies with uh, energy. So, e to the power minus energy by kBt, that is the probability of 
just a minute. So for any harmonic, uh, see, no, not harmonic, okay, any wave here, so energy quanta, of light or EM wave have energy NH nu I should not only say light the light means all EM wave all EM wave I mean whenever I tell you light here I will mean all in all the ranges all EM waves not not the physical light so energy quantums have uh, energy in each new so that average energy be e to the power minus n h new by a b t with h new h new is the energy quantum n h new sum over of this and sum over of e to the power n h nu by k b t that is the average energy of light quanta with energy n h nu you will tell uh, sir what is happening what happening is the probability occupancy of probability changes with energy so if you have energy h nu the probability of occupancy is e to the power h nu by kbt uh, and uh, if you have 2 h nu then uh, probability decrease a bit 2 h 2 h nu by kbt 3 h nu by kbt and with all the with the probability we are multiplying the energy itself of course, uh, that's why I need, uh, I will get the average energy. If you have H nu, you have got H nu there. If you get 3 H nu, you got 3 H nu there. And by divided by all the, all the probabilities, sum of all the probabilities. So when we do a statistical mechanics, we'll do a greater analysis of that. But uh, yeah, for the time being, take this to be true and if I calculate it that is not a very big deal if I calculate it this is easy here we have n here we have n so it's a kind of a derivative of kind of a derivative of this so this is an homework you can see that this can be done like this if you cannot do this please let me know this is a homework and this uh, that is why the Planck's hypothesis is being argued that that average energy per uh, per oscillator a kind of a per standing wave i got this so that is what Planck proposed, right? That's H nu part. This is this is the standing wave density of modes. So this this is different from the classical KBT. Classically, Rallagens assume that KBT. that kvt and that h nu by e to the power h nu by kvt minus 1 is different are different so hence that plans thing comes 8 pi nu square by c q that is density of modes we already tell you this multiplied by this h nu
and d new. So here, after this argument, if we can use, you will get everything. So two homeworks or two exercises you should do starting from this. That uh, once we assume that this to be true, we can integrate it. We can integrate it and uh, derive the total energy. What will be the total energy? And we can take a derivative of it and find which frequency or which lamb or wavelength this uh, the maximum uh, maximum wavelength occurs. And we can shift it uh, to rho lambda d lambda of course. And also it was eight pi by lambda to the power four. That that I will use directly. Eight pi lambda to the power four kVt sorry kbt i will not use 8 pi by lambda to the power 4 d lambda so 8 pi lambda to the power 4 d lambda and with this h nu i should use uh, hc by lambda once again e to the power hc by lambda kbt or kt this k is sometimes written as kbt as Boltzmann constant minus 1 g lambda. So this will be h pi hc lambda to the power 5 e to the power hc by lambda kt minus 1 g lambda. This is in terms of lambda, this is in terms of nu. So you need to do two homeworks here. Yeah. Total energy, which is means summing over all frequencies. We got another homework, don't forget it. You try to do this. This is just a series, just a higher secondary level of problem in mathematics. So you do the sum. You do the sum if you got stuck with let's discuss in the group. So total energy is summing over all the frequencies. So if I integrate it. And you can total energy of the radiation frequencies can become a very higher frequency also so we integrate it from zero to infinity this integration is uh, not easy i need to tell you a result we cannot do that so uh, h nu by kt i substitute at x so then i'll do it by so then new whenever i say new i say kt x by h so kt x by h o cube okay. h c q then uh, okay new square i got it d new is kt by h dx and below that i have e to the power x minus one so i all i get all that out except x so i have uh, kq tq hq from here another h there i have kt by h there and I have x q dx e to the power x minus 1 that's 0 to infinity. Then I tell you that this is integration, this is a definite integration. You can check or you can do a numerical integration using anything. 
the result of this is result of this is what pi to the power 4 I think this is pi to the power 4 by 15 the result of this integration the, this this definite integration only this is pi to the power 4 by 15 and all the other th this things because giving you a t to the power 4 variation with all the other constant you see we have a tq and we have a t so if i check this out i don't need this I will do an ungroup like this. I know the class is fitting a little bit longer. So that eight pi by T Q is there another any other C no uh, I have h h cut so h q how much k I have k to the power 4 this i to the power 4 by 15 into t to the power 4 h by 15 I think I got this <coughs> How much pi is there? Pi to the power five. Okay. So this is sigma t to the power four. That is you. the total energy of black body radiation that you can prove it. So okay, I already proved you this homework. <laughs> Anyways, another homework I should not prove it. Do rho lambda d lambda is this. this is rho lambda d lambda so rho lambda is except this d lambda this part is rho lambda 8 by hc lambda to the power 5 b to the power hc by lambda kt minus 1 this is not e into this is e to the power so take d rho d lambda is 0 then find lambda max it will be the peak of the wavelength it will be the max it, it will be the lambda where the rho becomes maximum this lambda max makes maximum and prove that you do all the homeworks okay whatever I tell you in the class you do everything extra homeworks also you do but this is the most essential things you need to do the must things so then after you do this you get what you get lambda is like if you put all the values you can prove this put all the values your results should be like this This is just the example. You substitute the values, of course, after you 
you can make a pause of this video and do it self right now and you don't don't uh, get all the star spending so do it right now that's why we'll, we'll progress actually uh, the mathematics of this will not be very easy so i may i may delete all this you will not uh, you'll not be uh, able to do it if i don't tell you uh, some more part so i would better write it After you do this, your result will be like this. After you do this, Your result will be like this where alpha is hc by kt that much uh, is easy to solve and that is final result after some arg arguments So, okay, you can discuss how from this, this comes or I will be telling you at some point of time, this is uh, not that tough. But okay, these are some kind of tasks you should try yourselves. So, that's it for that black body radiation. What we learned today is a uh, historical part, I just have a revision on that that we, have, we know what light is, we know that uh, light have a spectrum starting from radio to gamma. We have that basic property on light. Black body is what emits and reflects radiation perfectly. It gives you an experimental energy density diagram depending on temperature and the frequencies like this. Classically, it cannot be explained as classical theory gives you h pi nu square by cq kvt d nu, which actually fits into very low energy part, a low frequency part, but for higher it does not. That was called the ultraviolet catastrophe with another observation as that lambda max, or what we blend the energy is maximum, that is inversely proportional to t. Plums propose that we write uh, energy density formula like this and everything fits with this. So, irrespective of kBT, he wrote it h nu by to the power h nu kBT minus 1. And that really fits into experimental uh, formula, experimental observation. And if we start from this, we get wine distribution law and black body energy density, everything gets attracted. So, then only task was... Uh, why this should be there instead of kvt and then the proposal was there that uh, electromagnetic waves energy are not continuous as for uh, as per classical wave theory but it's have a very different uh, type of strange phenomenon where the energies of uh, where the energies are quantized h nu 2 h nu 3 h nu blah 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 so that are discrete energy levels and if we assume that uh, this discrete energy levels are to be true and with the together classical Maxwell's Boltzmann distribution that the probability of occupation depends uh, like e to the power minus e by kft so then i get uh, a per energy uh, per em wave uh, average energy should be like this the energy uh, this is uh, like very simple this is like energy e to the power energy kt by e to the power minus e by kt the sum over e sum over e that's what we are doing with 
Your first homework is to evaluate this series, class 11, 12 mathematics knowledge. Try it and see that this becomes this. So this is different from the classical religions formula. So then, if we, if we don't assume that light to be a classical electromagnetic wave, classical standing wave reflecting on and on within that cavity, then we get KBT. And if we assume that lighter energies are quantized with E is H nu, E n is n H nu, then the average energy is this. And this actually fits with experiment. H nu e to the power H nu by KBT minus 1. <laughs> you put it, it fits with experiment. You substitute nu uh, lambda is P. You got rho lambda d lambda is this. So both are used. Now, total energy I can integrate it. Total energy, the integration procedure I have already told you. Do it in your copy once. And this definite integral is pi to the power 4 by 15. And we got this classical formula of t to the power 4. t to the power 4 with some constant. That's the total energy of radiation. Second homework will be a little bit tricky. That rho lambda d lambda is this. Make rho lambda d rho d lambda 0. Try to find lambda max. You'll get an intermediate step. Then try to argue that how come this becomes with this a project and discussion task. So we finish all this. But uh, basic uh, textbook we followed. We followed today is Arthur Beisel and Jetri. Today is not Griffiths. Arthur Beisel chapter 2 and uh, Jetri chapter 1. that part we have done okay so if you want to subscribe for that course go to physicsky.in courses quantum mechanics one you can subscribe all the courses where i will be covering from this very basic to up to angular momentum spin and hydrogen atom so covering all of up go to uh, undergraduate level quantum mechanics one course your price will be just it is 9.99 so just do this if you want to subscribe okay but well, thank you the all the slides will be available as pdf file in the course website okay bye